Killarney is rightly seen as the capital of tourism in Ireland. Um, outside of Dublin, we have more hotels than anywhere else in the country. We get more visitors than anywhere else in the country outside of Dublin. Uh, when you put it in context, Dublin is a city of about 1.1 million people. Killarney is a town of 14,000. You know, everybody in Killarney, if they're not directly involved in tourism, is indirectly involved. They have a family member uh, directly involved. So it's in our DNA, basically. So Killarney people are, by their nature, friendly and welcoming to tourists. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, hello, everyone. It's Laura with the Midlife Traveler podcast. Thanks so much for joining us today for this episode where we are exploring Ireland through the voices, the stories and the opinions of locals who live there and travelers who've been there. Today, you get to explore a place that's near and dear to my heart, and that place is Killarney, Ireland. And, you know, I'd be curious of listeners out there, have you been to Ireland yet? Are you considering going and exploring Ireland on your own? I definitely can say that I would recommend you put Killarney on your itinerary. There's just so much to see and and do, not only in Killarney, but also in the surrounding area. So today's episode, you are going to hear again from Alan O'Connor, who is an absolute wealth of information on things to do in the area. And today's story that Alan's going to share is a bit about the history of Killarney and sort of the perspective of how Killarney fits in with the rest of Ireland. And the next episode following this one, you will get a four-day recommended itinerary for Ireland using Killarney as a base, and that will be in the next episode. But this one is pretty much about Killarney and just in general why you should visit and what is there. I'll tell you from my experience, there are three core things that I recognized and appreciated about a Killarney when I was there. One is the natural beauty. Killarney has an amazing national park right next to the city and town, and there's so much that you can see and do in and around Killarney. There's hiking, there's biking, there's kayaking, there's golfing. There's lots of ways for you to get out and explore nature and be active in a very, very beautiful countryside. The second thing is there are actually a lot of things to do in and around town itself. So the town itself is a Victorian era town and it's really picturesque, it's quaint, it's beautiful, it's hip, it's fun. There's a lot of terrific restaurants, there's a lot of good food and drink, music, pubs. Right outside of town, there's also a racetrack is quite impressive if you are a horse racing fan. And then the third thing after natural beauty and the town and things to do is that Killarney, where it's located, is also a good launching point to take tours to visit surrounding areas, such as the Ring of Kerry or the Dingle Peninsula, etc. But anyways, enough of me talking about Killarney. I'm going to turn this over so you can hear Alan O'Connor. Killarney is an amazing place. I'm from Killarney, uh, born and raised in Killarney, and I've been lucky to spend most of my working life in Killarney. I've been involved in the tourist industry here since 1993. Why people come to Killarney? Um, Killarney is rightly seen as the capital of tourism in Ireland. Um, Outside of Dublin, we have more hotels than anywhere else in the country. We get more visitors than anywhere else in the country outside of Dublin. Uh, When you put it in context, Dublin is a city of about 1.1 million people. Killarney is a town of 14,000. Wow. Yes. So um, I suppose historically why Killarney is such a hotspot for tourism is it's the natural beauty. It's the national park. It's Ireland's oldest national park. It's Ireland's largest national park. And it, I suppose it is the jewel in the crown of Killarney. And it's right on our doorstep. You can be in the national park from the town centre in minutes. You can be on a bike. You can be walking, hiking, kayaking. There's just so much uh, to do with that amazing natural resource that we have that is Killarney National Park. Uh, in 1864, Queen Victoria visited Ireland and spent, I think, three nights here uh, in total. And 
in and of its time, a royal visit like that was a huge deal. And all the, the, the newspapers of the day, and when they got back to London, they wrote about this amazing place. And I think it was a journalist of the Times that christened Killarney Heaven's Reflex, and that name has kind of stuck. Uh, then the railway came a few years later, and Victorians, I suppose, are the pioneers of tourism worldwide. They were the first... Um, grouping, I suppose, in history, I suppose, since the Romans, to actually go travelling to go on holidays. And they used to do the grand tour of Europe and go to places like Venice and, and travel around Europe. So Killarney got on their radar. And the train coming into Killarney was like, you know, an airport opening in the town back in the 1860s. Mm. So that gave Killarney a head start on most other regions in Ireland, which to be fair, and even as a Killarney man, I can say that other parts of Ireland, up along the West Coast in particular, in Connemara and Donegal, are amazing also, but they just don't have the infrastructure, they don't have uh, the history, they don't have the tradition that we do in Killarney that dates back to those Victorian times. And, uh, you know, everybody in Killarney, if they're not directly involved in tourism, is indirectly involved. They have a family member um, directly involved. So it's in our DNA, basically. So Killarney people are, by their nature, friendly and welcoming to tourists because it's, you know... So thanks for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. If you're looking for any of the resources that were mentioned in today's episode, please go online to our website at amidlifetraveler.com. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, rate, and review us online at iTunes and uh, just send us a note. Tell us what you think about the podcast. We would really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.